Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rimworld and to a yet unknown base and to Fred and Wilhelm and Lady Anzu and our pedagogical Let's Play. Now, this time there'll be more play and let's, uh, less pedagogy, maybe. Uh, I'll, I'll, won't promise anything, but we are need, need to start putting some things up and what I'll start with is, oh, that's actually not big enough as I thought it would be, but... We're going to put up a little bit of a room here. Just a tiny little chamber for now. And uh, like so. Well, I guess we'll put a little uh, we need a stool in there as well to sit and work on. And we should probably put in a, uh, a torch. I know it'll get a little bit hot in there actually, so I don't know if that's the best option, but now, let's see, is Lady Ansu up? If Lady Ansu is up. Uh, let's trade with Gorilla. And now I just realized, yes, we haven't carried in our, go or, our silver yet, so never mind that. Fred and Ansu, I have a job for you. Fred. Mm. Now where? Ah, here. Oh, so much things we need to, so many things we need to get in here. First of all, all that silver. All that silver. We have our meds are lying out here. There's stuff just lying out here. Turtles walking on our meds. And that's just no good. But uh, let's get. Uh, so what I did just then is, is um, I clicked on the thing and then I prioritized. I told them to prioritize. This is a case of, of of messing with them directly. This is a case of where I'm saying, look, stop whatever you're doing. Now it's really important that you do this. And so you can micromanage and you can tell people to do this. But when you do that, you do reduce their mood uh, if you do it too much. Once or twice, it doesn't matter at all. So in, uh, again, you, you want to be careful about... You want to try to set up your system so that your system works. That when when they're doing what they feel like doing, they are also doing the work they should be doing. But sometimes... Uh, it happens that you have to intervene and get certain things done to reach the outcome that you want. Obviously, this is a little bit, this is exactly like it is in real life a lot of times. But now we can trade, because now we have 800 silver. Now, uh, he's got some herbal meds, which we'll probably buy because we need medicine. We also have some pemmican, which we could live off of. Uh, marble club, cloth, a desert robe. Now, that's a good thing to have when it's in a hot area, but we don't actually want any of that, so that's okay. Just take that, and uh, Lady Ansu, what are you going to do now? You're going to haul wood. Actually, no, you're not. I, w I need you to go and haul these things. Actually, we're going to put that to be hauled as a priority as well. And uh, I suppose we can have this hauled as a priority. There. Um, is something being built here? No, 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 no. Okay, so let's see if we can can't get some things being started off here. Now, Fred has an absolutely insanely large room. He does not need a room that large. We're going to move his. How good is this bed, by the way? It is, oh, it's an awful bed. Uh, we're gonna have to do about something about that as well soon. But first things first. Uh, we. Need to get those things hauled. That did Wilhelm actually? Could you just make sure you get those in other rain? Don't have them sitting there. It's just horrible. Okay, um, but things are being hauled. That's good. Uh, we have uh, planted some things. Uh, the visitors are leaving. That's okay, and people are generally happy enough. So now I'll just wait for. Uh, this workshop to be built because this workshop once it's built allows us to get stone blocks and stone blocks well They for one they should be going here, right? Ah, Fred thinks you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? Uh, well, we call it um, the Learning learners the digital Digital learners. Here we go. What a what a lovely uh, name thing. Okay, what should what should this called uh, thing be called? We can. Uh, um, 
uh, Fred also thinks you should uh, give this community a name. What should this community be named? Uh, well, this is basically... It uh, should be... Um, I don't know. This is a tough one. Well, we'll just put something like the Sorbonne Digital. <laughs> uh, I just I couldn't think of anything else just then. There we go. Ha! Uh, we're now learners, known as the Digital Learners and the community is known as Sorbonne Digital. Wonderful. Okay, so. Uh, let's have a look then. This is our very first place where we are adding specific tasks for the uh, things to do. So, for the um, colonies to do. So, we're going to have them make limestone blocks. And we want a lot of these. So, let's put it to just uh, to about 360. That's a good place to start. And then, uh, this would mean that they, they keep doing them until they're 360. And once they're less than 360, they'll they'll start making more but that makes it a little bit illogical because if if we leave it like this then the moment uh if we have 360 blocks the moment someone uses a block then uh, the person in charge of this will rush back and start doing more of this so we don't want the stress rope with that but we want uh it to be so that once once you have reached 360 you'll stop and you will leave it untouched until we reach a threshold value of 101. This means that once uh, we get down to 100 blocks or less, they will start making more blocks again until they're up to 360. And uh, we'll just do limestone for now, because I think that's the, the main source of stone around here. Is there something else? Marble. What, what kind of stones are these? Well, those are limestone chunks, so... Yeah. Let's just do limestone first. We're going to do uh, marble later. I'm glad we have marble. Marble's a nice stone. And then we have granite here as well. We have granite and marble. And marble. Why, are, why do we have so much limestone here then? Alright. Granite. Limestone's there. Okay. So we'll start off with limestone until we've... Uh, exhausted this area. We'll see. We'll set up some more blocks after that. So Leiansu sets off to make us some blocks right away and with these blocks we can build some more fireproof structures which is going to be needed. I can actually already... I want to mine out some parts here just because I want it to look a little bit nicer. I don't want to mine too deep because if you do that well let's just say bad things can and will happen. Um, well, that's too far in. I want to just do like that. And let's cancel that. There we go. Okay. So, I guess everyone... Oh yeah, I did say at some point everyone should mind, so... Well, that's good. I get to practice a mad animal. Okay. Uh, now you get to see how the combat works in this game. A local raccoon's got mad and, and mad and wants to kill everything in sight. Okay, basically the old story of a raccoon going bad. Someone's too hot. People uh, are too hot. It is pretty warm outside. What is this? It's April, May. Gosh, it is a warm May. We're gonna have to build some power generating buildings in a minute and see about setting up. Uh, actually, we're going to do that very soon, because soon we're going to have a dead raccoon. Alright. Let's see if we can I can't get this raccoon taken care of. Um, yeah, we're actually going to need to Get take care of that raccoon. Pretty sharpish. Is that is that the crazy one? Yes, that is the crazy one. Just move over there, and once it gets into sight, Fred's already aiming. Let's see how this goes. Come on, take it out. There we go. Well done. Someone. 
Okay. Well, there's that. Now we have a dead raccoon. Now that dead raccoon can lead to uh, us having. Um, let me think. Um, yeah, the the dead raccoon can turn into food, which we need at some point. But uh, let's uh, do one thing at a time. Actually, let me cancel most of these mining jobs, except for the ones that take away the really worst blemishes. blemishes. So let's do cancel those, cancel those, and those as well, and show those. All right, now then, we're going to need a few things, and I think what we'll do is we'll start building them right away. Um, in order to have power, we need to also have some batteries. Start off with just one right here. This is this is going to be. We're going to change this room into. Actually, let's remove that and put it like this. Mm, no, we can have we can have batteries uh, right under here under this roof for now. Just sitting right there. Uh, we can have a solar panel right here. Yeah, we can we can use those place for wind turbines later on. But plop a solar panel down there, do like this, and do like this, and like this. Because I think we're gonna build ourselves a little um, fridge right here. And then we'll soon be able to put electrical lamps down as well and everything. So that's cool. I also want to change to uh, start building things out of blocks pretty soon, but then we'll get to do that later on. Igor is just Igoring around, doing pretty much nothing because that's all a cat can do. Wilhelm and Lady Ansu nicely tucked in together for a while. So this is where this overlap is going to go on, where. Um, the answer will soon get up, and Wilhelm will keep sleeping, but at least they'll have some time together, which will improve their mood. But, let's speed up time. There we go. Alright, well, things are happening. Somehow, somehow, somewhat-ish. Decently. Um. Okay, we're getting those things mined, which is great. Lady Atsu seems to be a fair bit better at mining than Fred is. Uh, it's good to keep in mind. Uh, Summer is here. Well, that was... That didn't take too long, uh, but winter is coming. Dun, 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 dun. So we need to get ready for that as well. We, we, we have lots of things we can do. There's a... Let's not be a problem per se. Let's um, actually use limestone blocks already there. Mix it, my, mix it up a little bit. Oh, are we out of wood? That's why they've stopped uh, doing anything? Alright, well then let's... Chop some wood. Oh, they. Hair yeah. revealed, huh? Oh, so they might mind that up. It's okay, I see. Summer. Yes, I can build a walk in refrigerated food. Keep food from spot. That is exactly what I'm about to do. Once I have this room fixed up, we're gonna put our food in here. But so far, uh, let's see, that is dead for less than a day, so we still have a whole day before it will spoil. And then we can start hunting. There's all kinds of animals around here that uh, I wouldn't mind slaying. Because they're probably going to eat our crops. 
We have a... What's this gobble gobble? Yeah, we have a turkey. We can see if we can get a, a breeding pair of turkeys. Which reminds me, did anyone... Uh, I'm gonna check on their growing skill. Did anyone... Got a growing skill of two now, a growing skill of one. Can't grow stuff. Okay, so we're nowhere near being able to grow heel root ourselves yet. But it's okay, we're gonna just harvest the heel root that we can find. Okay, alright, this is now finished, so let's put in a cooler, like so, and then turn this place into a place for perishable foods. So, perishable foods, that means uh, meals, all meals except for packaged, so we also don't want any neutral paste meals, uh, raw foods, meat, uh, and uh, berries, but the other kind of projects actually uh, can 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 stay outside. They don't. It doesn't rot. Animal projects, yes, all of that stuff goes in here. Chocolate, I think, is fine outside. Pemmican is fine. What about wort? Where's that stuff? Uh, maybe it's under manufactured. There, uh, wort, yes. We can also see here we have all kinds of drugs we can make. We'll come back to that later on. Plant matter. Uh, no, we don't need to put that in here. My corpses we do. We need to put some animal corpses in here. which And now, hopefully some will come and work on that right quick. There we go. And it has power, so we're going to drop the temperature down to freezing, minus one degree, and now we're going to have someone uh, haul... Okay, he's hauling it right away. Very good. Uh, refugee chased... Oh, a refugee chased at Sorbon Digital. A sheriff named Witch Fabe calls you from nearby. He's being chased by tribespeople from the Alliance of Bebuala. He begs for safety. He's 20 years old. If we accept, we'll have to fight out the tribespeople on his tail. We will, of course, accept. No sheriff shall suffer the indignity of being chased by tribes people. Note when uh, we have ninjas and uh, military commissars and stuff who can fight. Offer safety. Uh, dude. Dude, you're nude. Um, and I already have some people waiting to join. So, um, Pepe. Welcome to the tribe, Pepe. Why are you nude? Okay, so what a... Oh, no. Oh, good grief. Pepe, what a kind of... You're a mute. Pepe was greatly affected by a traumatic event early in his life. For many years, he refused to speak for people, preferring instead to play with his household's numerous pets. So he's good with animals. Sheriff. Turns into Sheriff. Sheriff was a law enforcer, on a law enforcer on an isolated, in an isolated industrial town. He was known for having an arrogant attitude and a mean streak. He refused to lift so much as a finger unless it was for money, alcohol, or revenge. Oh no, uh, incapable of dumb labor, incapable of skill labor, care and social. He can't do almost anything. He can fight and take care of animals. He's lazy and psychically dull. Pepe, I don't know if you're gonna live here very long. You can fight. You can fight and eat. And I suppose artistic and... Yeah, you're gonna basically take care of all our... You're gonna do all research because you can't do anything else, so... Fine. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. And, yeah. He's wearing pants. Okay, at least he could... he's got pants on. That... Uh, sometimes that happens. So this is... <laughs> sometimes you get someone who can... Who just barely can't do a damn thing. You're just gonna have to do the best you can. With that, uh, and that's what our Pepe is for us today. Well, we're actually gonna put in a research bench right away because, um, while well, I remember, uh, simple research bench. Let's put that here. Bad temperature. Goodness. Oh, we'll see about that. We'll fix. We'll fix temperatures and stuff in just a bit. Uh, let's put that there. Good grief, can't do hardly anything. 
So let's see what he can do. Okay, he can at least firefight. He can uh, be a patient. He can rest in bed. He can flick a switch. He can handle animals. So let's let's have him do that. Let's have him be the only one who handles animals. Let's actually put and have have a few animals for him to do. Uh, how good? He's the second best shooter here. So he's gonna get. Um, I'm gonna let him take uh, the pistol. He's rubbish at art, so he's not going to get to do that. But he's going to do all the research that there is to do. Anywho. Wonderful. Wonderful. Drop the pistol. And you can keep on hauling that. Pip, pip, you grab the pistol because you are going to be chased by some people. So let's see how this goes. Oh, well. Um, all right, so we're gonna build a couple of new rooms here soon. We're gonna need to have a place for people to sleep. Here's the raid. Let's see how many people are coming, because they are chasing this naked. There's one guy uh, equipped with a steel spear. Spear is a good, a good solid weapon. There's nothing wrong with that. But you're not gonna win when you're facing guns. Um, so I guess we could take care of this lone raider person. I'll just take these, all of these while I'm at it. And um, yeah. Let's just um, get into position right around let's say here. Wait for them to come on up. I'm gonna wait for Pepe to. Oh yeah, Pepe's uh, sleeping arrangement should be fixed as well. So um, we'll start with uh, that, and we'll move things around actually a little bit. And see, we already have. Yeah, I think I'll move this by two hours like that. I mean, you're not really going to do anything of value, so... Okay, like this and like that. Can't even haul, man. I mean, that's just... That's just a darn shame. Alright, well, let's see. Bustin's here, naked as the day he was born. Can't haul, can't work, can't do nothing. Oh, wait got some pretty interesting clothes on there. You got uh, so a head wrap and a tr uh, tribal wear. Yeah, it's nothing too special. We'll, we'll just guess you can move down a bit. We could hunt a few more animals to make sure we have food. And speaking of food, we also need to build the kitchen and things. But anyway, we'll we'll get to all that in the next episode. Once we've dealt with this raid. Okay, Pepe, you're coming. And where's your pursuant? There you are. Pursuer, I should say. Okay, here we go. We're almost... It's almost time for the fight. And I don't think it should be a very difficult fight. Seeing as... Uh, we have two skilled gunmen. Against one... Um, unarmed, I mean, person armed with a spear. That being said, Lady Ansu, get up here. Okay. So, well, let's see who this is. Landoa, keeper. Um, capable of social, but good at crafting. An optimist, which is also always a really good thing. I'm 28 years old and psychically dull, so that's not too bad. Uh, not good at growing, good at crafting, decent at melee. So, you know, optimists are very, very good. Um, permanent mood effect plus six means that they will stay happy almost no matter what. So, I'm thinking we're gonna keep her. We just need to. Uh, have a room set up very, very 
sharpishly. I think what we're going to do, the first thing is we're going to make this into a temporary prisoner's quarter. Uh, or actually maybe even... Um, yeah, we'll make this into a temporary prisoner's quarter and set up two new rooms for uh, Pepe and Fred somewhere else. Maybe somewhere in here? Maybe out here? We'll see. It all depends. I don't really like how far away our fields are from where our general kitchen area is going to be. Maybe I should have moved the the freezer. But oh well. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a bit. This is it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope you'll come back next time where we'll be building some living quarters for Pepe and Fred. And we'll also actually partition off this prison area. Um, in a slightly different way. So I'm just going to take a look quickly at Fred. How badly were you hurt before we took her down? That's there's a small bleeding there from your left arm. We just have to make sure it doesn't get infected. It should be fine. Anyway, thank you for watching. Next time, let's set up some living quarters and carry on the adventure of Sorbonne Digital. Bye!